Hey, it's Kevin from Cruising with Wheels. And it's Frank, and I'm here with my hubby. I've been missing in action for a while, but you know what today? What's today? We're going to talk about... The top 10 free things to do on a cruise! Our subscriber, Lauren G, wrote, Hi guys, your videos are very informative. There's nobody on wheels in my household, but we still got a lot of great info from you both. In your casino video, you mentioned another video, quote, 10 free things, end quote. But I can't find the link. I'd love to see it. Can you reply with the link? Thank you. Thanks, Lauren. And guess what? Here we are. We have to apologize. Some of our footage from our NCL Gem Cruise, unfortunately, was lost. And the top 10 free things to do on a cruise was one of them. So I dragged Frank out of the depths of the basement. Kicking and screaming. <laughs> and said, we're doing this video for Lauren and all of our subscribers. So, let's start, Frank. Okay, and countdown will start at number 10. Game room and library. Now, nobody says that you want to, you know, sit in the game room and play shoots and ladders all during your cruise, but you know what? It's there. And maybe if you're uh, on a cruise with your children, there are an assortment of games or you want an, a, a quiet place just to play cards. Well, Frank would say that you don't have to have just a child on your cruise to play games because I love games. The thing is, is that a lot of people don't realize that on the cruise ships, there is a game room. Right. The game room is fully stocked with multiple board games, card games, and it's usually connected to the library. So if you just want to grab a book and read quietly, there you go. All right, it's a lot of activities going on in a cruise, and sometimes it can get a little overwhelming. And some people just want a quiet space to go and just read a book. And if you don't want to be stuck in the library or the game room, you can go out on deck. Retro yourself back to the 1950s and 60s and play shuffleboard. There's also a huge, huge chessboard that you can play chess on. I know. It's, it's like adult chess, but, you know, it's not like crazy, like, like Harry Potter, uh, th the first movie where it's wizard's chest and it's like, you know, 10 feet tall. But it's really cool to move those giant chess pieces uh, on the deck. And what about trivia? Because we oh, yeah. love the trivia. Oh, yeah. They've got an assortment almost like every day through the cruise of different types of of trivia games that happen all over the ship. And sometimes, on some of the cruises, if you play in every trivia game, you could qualify to win a free cruise. Ooh. Which is, uh, again, free stuff is good. Free stuff. What's number nine, Frank? Number nine is relax in the atrium and watch a movie. Big old screen in the atrium. You know where else there were movies? Where? Uh, on our ship. They had them in the uh, Stardust Theater one night. Oh, right. And we've been on Carnival right. and Princess and Royal Caribbean who have these huge, huge. mammoth screens outside, outside on the deck. And they serve warm chocolate chip cookies and, and free popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> so don't miss that. You'll find it in your dailies. Number eight. What's number eight? Oh, kind of our favorite, but <gasps> it's a little dangerous. But you know does, what? Is it's it, free. Has it got something to do with yes, this? Yes, it does have something to do with this. Attend an art auction. You know, an art auction is a great place to go. You can meet new people. Right. You can find affordable pieces of art. And, and if you've never been to an art auction and you just want to go just to experience, you don't have to buy anything. They offer, what's your favorite that they offer? Free champagne. I was just going to say, they offer free champagne. So, if you want to get some free liquor while you're on the ship, go on over there, sit through an art auction. <laughs> Jeez, if you only want to get the free champagne, just sit there for five minutes. But you know what? On your next cruise, 
maybe you'll be thinking, you know what? I've experienced it. I watched. I learned. It's not scary anymore. And on the next cruise, maybe I'll buy a piece of art. Right. Our, uh, most of the art in our home came from the cruises. Right. So don't be intimidated. Shout out to Park West Galleries. <laughs> What's number seven? Free seminars. I'm sorry. That first word was free seminars. And when we say seminars, that might sound boring. But I have to tell you, they have had some incredible seminars that we've gone to. Yeah, they do things like ice carvings and... Oh, the photography. That's your we thing. went to this photography. The man was amazing. He taught me things that, frankly, I didn't think I needed to know. But now that I know them, I, I mean, I, I feel like I could teach a seminar. Right. You just check your daily. It comes to your room. Mm -hmm. And for the kids, they do balloon twisting. Balloon twisting. Keep them uh, occupied. Arts and crafts, printing classes. What about uh, the culinary demos? Oh, yeah. Food demos. Mm -hmm. And you know the food on the cruise oh. are astronomically awesome. My God. If you get a chance. I will link right above uh, the uh, food um, videos from oh, our yeah. cruises. Our cruise, we just came back in February on the NCL Gem. The food was awesome. So you won't check, believe it. Check that out. Number six. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> the theater shows. <laughs> They've got theme musicals like... Oh, um, they had the Get Down Tonight right. on the NCL Gem. It's my favorite. Favorite. It's a high energy uh, show built all around 70s disco music. Mm -hmm. But I got to tell you, that's not all they have. Some of these cruise ships have Broadway right. theater musicals uh, such as Hairspray, um, Wine Lovers, the musical. The list goes on and on. So when you book your cruise, check and see what the entertainments are. Uh, options are because you in some cases want to book these tickets on some of the mega ships before you sail then you're guaranteed a seat right. at one of the best shows you'll see on the sea now not all of them require tickets correct they have what uh, two shows a seven o'clock show and a nine o'clock show mm -hmm. you're so going to want to check your freestyle check. daily freestyle or daily. or uh your princess patters or whatever um, the ship whatever finds it's called call the paper the daily bulletin also, they have comedy shows and magic shows. And there will be free entertainment all over the ship. One of our favorites yeah, to watch. Our, it is our favorite. <laughs> Remember Leo? Yes. <laughs> oh, we love Leo. He is on the NCL Gem. Hopefully, if you're going on it, he'll still be there. He is a fabulous musician that plays multiple genres. Also, a crew talent show. Now, that is funny. You see uh, the crew members every day morning noon and night doing their jobs and then boom there they are on stage who knew they could sing who knew they could dance who knew they could be a, a comedian i mean it's really awesome to see all the talent that is aboard the ships that you didn't even know now number five is also uh, one of my favorites that's one of kevin's things it's nightly karaoke karaoke you gotta go you're on a ship you don't know any of these people Get up and try to sing. You're probably never going to see them again, so who cares? <laughs> What's another thing that well, we can do? Well, you know, we also, don't forget, um, we did videotape uh, Kevin doing karaoke oh. on the NCL Gen, and he's going to put a link to that, and you can see that on our YouTube channel. It was really, really great. Maybe we'll make that a regular thing. <laughs> we'll pick a song. Maybe if you comment below uh, a song you want me to do, uh, we'll go through and right. we'll see. Maybe we'll make that happen on the uh, October NCL Jade cruise. Right. So, uh, counting down to number four, you know, the sports complex. Now, Frank and I aren't so much into sports. Yeah. Not unless I can wheel my way through the basketball court, which you know, isn't unheard of, but... And the basketball court doubles as a tennis court. Right. And on many of the cruises that we've been on, they have a golf right. uh, area. Uh, so you can practice your swing. They have ping pong. Ping pong. Uh, the one, the one cruise ship had a billiards table. Right. How about the I rock mean, climbing wall? Oh, I know. I, again, <laughs> for me. Uh, what do I hear? I hear no jingling because it's free, people. Ah. It's free. Take advantage of it. It really is. Uh, there's a lot of exciting things to do, and it doesn't have to cost you any money. Now, Frank and I are from New York, 
and New when, York. <laughs> shout out to my Brooklyn uh, peeps. peeps. <laughs> but, you know, we get a bad rap in New York because of high prices, right? Well, guess what? You don't have to pay a cover charge. Where? At the nightly dance parties. Right, nightly dance. They have, a lot of times they have like the white party, and then there's, you know, if, well, we're going uh, uh, on the NCL Jade in October because. And guess what they have? Uh, they have the glow party. Right, and also, and not only we're going to be on for my 60th birthday, but it's also during Halloween, and you yes. know they're going to have a Halloween party. Now, I want you all mm. to comment below, because this one over here doesn't want to bring a costume. So, maybe you should give us suggestions on what costumes we should bring with us to wear for Halloween. And please while make we're them the cruise. Make them wheelchair friendly for Frank. Thank you. But no long trains of excess fabric. Okay. Give us some <laughs> ideas. Help me out here, people. Yeah, I'm a little leery, but I'm trying to keep an open mind. Number two. Number two, we kind of briefly peppered over uh, when we spoke about yeah. Leo, but we did want to bring attention to it specifically because it is our number two. Right. All over the ships, you're going to find the great lounge areas where they have the piano bars and they have little quartets. Vocalists. Um, vocalists. Guitar, uh, right. Guitarists. You guitarists? See? Yeah, guitarists. Yeah. <laughs> and lounge singers and crooners. And they're all over the ship because there's lounges everywhere. So you can go wherever and whatever music... You will, your fancy. You'll hear country in mm -hmm. 40s and 50s and 60s, the That's 70s, right. the 80s. You'll, you'll hear everybody from uh, Buble right. to uh, Ozzy Osbourne. It's, it's phenomenal. It's great because I'm a music lover. Frank's a music lover. And uh, perhaps I want to listen to one thing and he wants to listen to another. He can be in one lounge and I can be in the other. We don't often do that, but... It's an option. <laughs> Some days it's a good option. And, and the, the number, number one thing, thing to do on a cruise that's free. For us, anyways. <laughs> relax at the pool, sunbathe, and have a cocktail. Mm-hmm. Delicious. So until next time, Frank and I want to remind you to travel safe and cruise often. Five, four, three. <laughs> well, you stop sitting there looking like an actor. Okay, what are we going to say? Green room. Ah! But I felt like I was making a funny face when you started. Then you look like you're crazy when I kill me with a knife. I know. Okay. Ah! Oh, my God. Get to number one. Cut. What? It looks like I'm sitting on your lap. <laughs> no, you best not be. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't thinking. Oh, there you go. What, we're doing it all over again? Ah! And then it goes. Boop, 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 Don't be fake smiling. <laughs> well, I don't know what that bitch's name is. So I forgot where we were. I... Ah! Okay, we're done. Ah!